A relation is a set of points. Let's take a look at a number of examples of relations and also look at a number of ways that relations can be represented. Here's a familiar looking parabola. It's made up of an infinite number of points. This is a relation. This curve that has the same shape as a parabola is also a relation. It is made up of an infinite number of points. Another type of relation. This circle is a relation. The circle is made up of an infinite number of points. This relation is made up of uh, an infinite number of separate curves. This is a relation. This series of line segments is a relation because the line segments are made up of points. Here are some actual points that are plotted for them to be exact. This is a relation as well. We represented uh, using a graph. Uh, we can represent them using a formula. So for example, the familiar parabola can be represented with a formula that looks like that. The circle that we saw on the screen has a formula that looks like this. And we saw another curve on the screen and its formula was this. We don't have to know exactly how uh, these relations work. I'm just giving you some examples of formulas. So this set of four points can also be represented by a table. Uh, the table has exactly four points in it. Now this is different than when we're graphing a parabola, for example, and we use five points. Um, the parabola itself has an infinite number of points, and we want to make that distinction. So we can take these points and we can represent them in a different way using uh, a set. And a set uses two squiggly brackets. And inside, we will just simply list the coordinates of the points. and we've represented the relation in yet another format. We can take this relation uh, and we can represent it using what's called a mapping. So a mapping takes X values and maps them to Y values in our case. And so if we look at the possible X values, they are negative one, two, and five. There's only three X values, even though there are four points. And there are only three y values negative one, two, uh, three over two. When x is negative one, it can be mapped to a two, it can also be mapped to a negative one. A 2 can be mapped to 3 over 2, and a 5 can be mapped to 3 over 2. So here are several ways that you can represent a relation.